What we have done until now is designing the layout of a warehouse and creating the warehouse environment. What we're going to do next is implementing the warehouse management system. Implementing the warehouse management system is the final step we have to go through to make a runnable warehouse simulation model. To do so, we open the dialog of our warehouse manager. Let's give a look to all tab pages. On page sites, we get an overview of all sites and all warehouses in our model. On page settings, we can select some default settings regarding the order flow and inventory management of our warehouses. On page activities and tasks, we model the activities and tasks in our warehouse model. Activities is the work that is done by our resources inside the warehouse. We have default implemented 8 different activities, but of course you can also use your own specific activities in your own warehouse model. Let's give a look to the activity inbound. If you double click the activity, a table will open with the tasks of this activity. Each activity exists out of one or more tasks. For example, activity inbound exists out of two tasks. The resource has to pick a pallet from the truck and the resource has to store the pallet at the expedition floor. On page data interface, we can select what, what files we want to use for data interface for master product data and our start inventory. This can be default plant simulation objects or this can also be Excel or access tables.